Today, the man accused of beating a pregnant teenager causing a stillbirth was in court for a preliminary hearing. Good evening, I'm Calvin Snead. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Justin Armour is charged with criminal homicide, domestic assault, and false imprisonment. News Channel 9's Drew Vallejo was in court this morning. He has the emotional testimony. Wiping away tears, the teenage victim stood and testified just three feet away from the man accused of beating her and killing her fetus. He said this baby ain't gonna live after today. The now 16-year-old victim stood next to the district attorney during today's preliminary hearing. She spoke softly as she recounted what happened over a three-day period in May. I was trying to block with my hand. Like According to police, the teen says on May 9th, 23-year-old Justin Armour beat her for several hours, kept her locked in a bedroom of a vacant home for three days, and is responsible for killing the five-month-old fetus she was carrying. She described her, her pregnant belly as having moved or shifted just a little bit after the assault. The victim had a stillbirth a day after leaving the vacant home. The medical examiner had initially reported the fetus died because of blunt force trauma, but later revised the initial report to an unknown manner of death. The defense argued this point and also pointed out discrepancies in the victim's story. So you, you told police three different stories? Yes. yes. The victim admitted to having a relationship with Armour since 2013 and had continued to see him despite filing an order of protection against him. Okay, and then when you got inside the house, you had sex that was your testimony earlier? Yes. Okay. After he beat you for 30 minutes? Yes. Forensic evidence is still being tested by the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation. In Hamilton County, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. All three cases against Armour were bound over to the grand jury. He is in jail on an $810,000 bond.